Today, I'm going to show you how Grok 4 handles real business challenges and game development. We're testing it with five crazy prompts that most AI tools would fail at. I'm talking about building complete business dashboards, SEO tools, and even multiplayer games. This is the stuff that separates the good AI from the great AI. And I'm going to show you exactly what works, what doesn't, and how you can use this to build your own business tools. Plus, I'll reveal the simple prompts that actually get the best results. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. So here's what happened. I got my hands on these five test prompts that were designed to push Grok 4 to its limits. And I'm not talking about simple stuff here. These prompts were asking for complete business applications, advanced SEO tools, and complex games with AI opponents. The kind of stuff that would take a developer weeks to build. Now, before I dive into the results, I need to tell you something important. I was testing Grok 4 Expert, not the Super Grok Heavy model, and that might make a big difference. The Super Grok model is supposed to be even more powerful for complex tasks like this. So if you're planning to try these yourself, keep that in mind. The results might be even better with the heavier model. But before I dive into the results, let me tell you, why this matters for your business. See, most people are using AI for basic tasks, writing emails, making simple images, basic coding, but the real money is in using AI to build actual business tools. Tools that can save you hundreds of hours, tools that can automate your processes, tools that can give you a competitive edge. And that's exactly what we tested with Grok 4 Expert. The first test was building a complete business analytics dashboard. The exact prompt was, Build a complete HTML file with embedded CSS and JavaScript that creates a comprehensive business analytics dashboard. Your output should be a single working HTML file that includes multi-source data integration, advanced KPI calculations, interactive visualizations, and executive decision support. Not just any dashboard, we're talking enterprise grade stuff. The prompt asked for customer lifetime value calculations, marketing attribution modeling, predictive trending, and professional color schemes with accessibility standards. Now here's where it gets interesting. Most AI tools would give you some basic HTML with maybe a chart or two, but we wanted something that could actually be deployed in a real business environment. And guess what, Grok 4 Expert delivered. It created a working analytics dashboard that you could literally save and open in your browser right away. The color scheme was professional. The calculations were accurate. The visualizations were interactive. Was it perfect? Number, but it was functional. And here's the key, if you wanted to improve something specific, you could just ask Grok4 to fix it. That's the power of this approach. You get something that works immediately, then you iterate on it, but wait, there's more. The second test was even more challenging. The prompt for this one was, build a complete HTML application, single file with embedded CSS JavaScript, that creates an intelligent SEO analysis and optimization tool. Your deliverable should be a working HTML file that leverages your real-time web access capabilities. We asked Grok, 4 expert to build an AI-powered SEO optimization suite. And I'm not talking about a simple keyword tool. This needed to analyze competitors in real time, audit technical SEO, generate content strategies, and provide actionable reporting. The kind of tool that SEO agencies charge thousands for. Now here's where I got excited. Because this is my world, I've built a seven-figure SEO agency. I know what these tools need to do and I know how much businesses pay for them. Grok4 Expert gave us a basic output on this one. It wasn't as impressive as the analytics dashboard, but here's what I learned. When I told it to make the UI more appealing, it gave me a much better result. This tells me something important about how to work with Grok4. You start with the basic request, then you iterate. And remember, this is just the expert model. The Super Grok heavy model might have nailed this on the first try. This is exactly what we teach in our AI Profit Boardroom. It's not about getting the perfect result on the first try. It's about knowing how to guide the AI to give you what you actually need. Now, the third test was where things got really interesting. The prompt was build a complete HTML5 game, single file with embedded CSS JavaScript that creates an advanced strategy game showcasing sophisticated AI reasoning. Game concept, corporate empire, a business strategy game, where players compete to build the most successful company. We asked Grok 4 Expert to build a multiplayer strategy game with AI opponents, not a simple game. We're talking about intelligent AI personalities, complex market dynamics, and advanced decision engines. The kind of game that would normally require a team of developers and months of work. And honestly, this is where Grok 4 Expert struggled a bit. 
At first, the game wasn't working, but when I asked it to fix the issues, it got the job done. It wasn't perfect, but it showed me something important. Grok 4 Expert can handle complex logic and game mechanics, but it needs guidance. Again, I'm wondering if the Super Grok Heavy model would have handled this better. Complex game logic with AI opponents is exactly the kind of task where more computational power could make a huge difference. This is a pattern I'm seeing across all AI tools. The more complex the task, the more you need to break it down and iterate. You can't just throw a massive prompt at it and expect perfection. But here's where it gets weird. The fourth and fifth tests were supposed to be the easy ones. Simple games. For test four, the prompt was simple. Create a complete snake game in a single HTML file where the snake moves with arrow keys, eats red food to grow, and dies when hitting walls or itself using green snake, red food, and dark background colors. For test five, build a Mario style platformer game in one HTML file with a blue character that jumps on brown platforms, collects yellow coins, avoids red enemies, and uses arrow keys for movement. Basic stuff that any AI should be able to handle. Grok 4 Expert gave us games, but they weren't fully playable. The Snake game worked, but some features were buggy. The Mario game worked, but I couldn't complete it because the jumping mechanics weren't quite right. This taught me something crucial about AI prompting. Sometimes the simple prompts work better than the complex ones, so I tested this theory. I gave Grok 4 Expert that exact simple Snake prompt again, and it worked. Basic Snake game, fully functional, then I tried the Mario prompt again. This worked too, but I couldn't finish the level because I couldn't jump upstairs. Still, it did the job. And if I wanted to fix that jumping issue, I could just ask Grok 4 Expert to tweak it. Now, what does this tell us about using AI for business? First, start simple. Don't try to build your entire business system in one prompt. Break it down into smaller pieces. Second, iteration is key. You're not going to get the perfect result on the first try. Plan to refine and improve. Third, be specific about what you want. The more details you give, the better the result. Fourth, test everything. Just because the AI says it works, doesn't mean it actually works the way you need it to. And fifth, don't give up if the first attempt doesn't work. Ask the AI to fix the issues. And sixth, consider upgrading to the more powerful model if you're working on complex projects. The difference between Grok 4 Expert and Super Grok might be exactly what you need for those challenging tasks. This is exactly what we teach our students in the AI Success Lab. We have over 14,000 members who are using these exact strategies to build real business tools. They're not just playing around with AI, they're using it to save hundreds of hours and make real money. Let me give you a real example from our community. One of our members used a similar approach to build a complete project management system for their agency. They started with a simple prompt, then kept iterating until they had something that could replace their expensive software subscriptions. Another member built a customer support chatbot that handles 80% of their support tickets automatically, they started with basic functionality, then added features one by one. That's the power of this approach. You're not trying to build everything at once. You're building systematically. But here's what most people get wrong. They think AI is magic. They think you can just ask for anything and get perfect results. That's not how it works. AI is a tool, a powerful tool, but still a tool. And like any tool, you need to know how to use it properly. That's why we created our AI Success Lab. It's not just about teaching you prompts. It's about teaching you the entire system, how to break down complex problems, how to iterate effectively, how to test and refine your results. We have over 100 different tutorials covering everything from basic prompting to advanced automation. Every day, our members are sharing new use cases and strategies. It's like having access to a team of AI experts 24 seven. And speaking of teams, that's another thing I learned from testing Grok 4 Expert. The best results come when you combine AI with human expertise. The AI can do the heavy lifting, but you need to guide it with your business knowledge. This is exactly what we do at Goldie Agency. We use AI to handle the repetitive tasks, but our team brings a strategy and creativity. That's how we've been able to scale to a seven figure business with over 50 people. The same principle applies to these tools we tested. Grok 4 Expert can build the foundation, but you need to add the business logic and user experience. For example, that analytics dashboard, it's a great starting point. But if I was deploying this for a real client, I wanna customize the metrics add their brand in and integrate it with their existing systems. The AI gives you the framework, but you add the value. This is why I'm so excited about where AI is heading. We're not replacing human expertise. We're amplifying it. We're making it possible for one person to do the work of an entire development team, but only if you know how to use these tools properly. That's what separates the people who are making real money with AI from the people who are just playing around. The successful ones understand that AI is about systems and processes, not magic tricks. 
They know how to break down big problems into smaller pieces. They know how to iterate and improve. They know how to test and validate their results. And most importantly, they know how to combine AI capabilities with real business knowledge. This is exactly what we teach in our programs. Not just the technical skills, but the business strategy behind it. Because here's the thing, anyone can learn to write prompts, but not everyone knows how to turn those prompts into real business value. That's the difference between someone who plays with AI and someone who makes money with AI. And after testing Grok for Expert with these complex prompts, I'm even more convinced that the future belongs to people who can combine AI capabilities with business expertise. The tools are getting better every day. Grok 4 Expert showed us that AI can handle complex business logic, advanced calculations, and even game development. It's not perfect, but it's getting close. And with the Super Grok Heavy model, we might be even closer than we think. And when you know how to guide these tools properly, the results are incredible. So what's next? How do you actually use this information to build your business? First, start experimenting. Don't wait for the perfect use case. Pick something simple and start building. Second, focus on solving real problems. Don't build tools just because you can. Build tools because they solve actual business challenges. Third, iterate constantly. Your first version won't be perfect. Plan to improve it over time. Fourth, test everything with real users. What looks good to you might not work for your customers. And fifth, scale gradually. Start with one tool, perfect it, then move to the next one. This is the exact approach we use with our agency clients. We don't try to automate everything at once. We start with one process perfect it, then move to the next. And the results speak for themselves. Our clients are saving hundreds of hours per month. They're reducing their software costs. They're improving their service quality and they're scaling faster than ever before. But they didn't get there overnight. They got there by following a systematic approach to AI implementation. And that's what I want for you too. Whether you're running an agency, building a SaaS product, or just trying to automate your own business processes, the principles are the same. Start simple, iterate constantly, test everything and always focus on real business value. That's how you turn AI from a cool toy into a real business advantage. And speaking of business advantages, I wanna share three ways you can take this even further. First, if you're serious about scaling your business with AI automation and wanna save hundreds of hours while getting more customers, you need to check out our AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we share the latest strategies and tools that are actually working in real businesses, not theory, but proven systems that our members are using to grow their revenue. Second, if you're specifically looking to grow your business with SEO and digital marketing, I'm offering free SEO strategy sessions where we'll analyze your current situation and create a customized plan to get you more leads and customers. You can book that through the link in the comments and description. Third, if you want access to all the processes, SOPs, and step-by-step -step tutorials we use to implement these AI tools, plus over 100 different use cases, check out our AI Success Lab. You'll get access to our entire library of training videos, our community of over 14,000 members and all the templates and checklists you need to start building your own AI powered business tools. The links for everything are in the comments and description below. And remember, Julian reads every comment, so let us know what you think about these Grok 4 expert test results and what you want to see next.